Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Today I'm going to take a look at this residential application. And essentially, I was provided an image, a few images really, but um, I'm going to use this one to manipulate and um, hopefully I can come up with some very close uh, measurements. So let's just go ahead and look at the, uh, the model that we have. Essentially, we have a seating area um, with a cloth canopy cover. Uh, it's got some steel structure um, to support the uh, the awning material, but um, let's go ahead and look at the dimensions that I came up with. These are just approximates. These are not exacts. Um, so essentially, I have the top of this awning and the back section here coming up to about ten and a half feet up in front. Eight. In, this is called eight. And then um, the depth of the patio is roughly 10 feet, 8 inches. And then uh, 14, 11 to this post here from this wall over here. All right, so turn that off. Um, their primary area that they want to heat is the seating space here. If you look back at this image here, you'll see that uh, I have it approximately in the same location. However, my table dimensions um, aren't the exact same as theirs, but uh, let's look at the ray, or let's look at the, uh, sorry, the heaters first. What I would, would propose is to take a uh, CD um, 4024. This is a dual watt, uh, 4,000 watt, uh, dual element, sorry, 4,000 watt heater. And you can either use the C model or the W model. And um, you can see here that our footprint footprint of uh, heat is um, decent. You know, we're capturing most of this, and I have it centered based on this 10, what was it there, 10, it was actually 10.6 or something like that. Let me just double check here. Uh, yeah, 10.8. So I have it centered, the heater centered in that location. I need to throw that ray back on. You can see that the outer um, chairs aren't as well heated as the inside area. Um, you could move the heaters down a little bit, but I would be a kind of a concern when I get past that uh, eight foot mark at the bottom of the heater, but that's very doable. Um, one, uh, the other thing here is obviously these brackets don't hang in midair. So what I would propose is to take some chain and then to, um, mount the unit up to possibly the, uh, the framework of the awning structure. Now you can see where I have these located. My framework is, um, not where the heaters are. So we would have to either move the heaters to that framework and I wouldn't want to put them too close. I have these particular lines representing the frame at four feet distances apart. So, and if you look at the, uh, again, the original drawing, you can see that, uh, whoops, try that again. You can see that up here, I have this line here, this line here, this line here, then there's a wall edge here, but these are, uh, from here to here is four feet, from here to here is four feet, and so on. You can see I didn't continue it because they were not interested in heating this space here. So if we had to um, move the heaters, you know, based, based off of here and here, um, then of course your heaters will be eight feet apart. And right now, let's see where I have those. Let's go over here. I have them at seven so that we can get that crossover. So that's going to kind of uh, pay, play some part in uh, how the heaters are um, configured, whether these are four feet apart or greater. But in any case, you would hang a chain from there to the, the framework, from here to the framework. That chain would be uh, different in lengths so that you can get a even um, level. And also I just want to make, mention the uh, clearance because there are some uh, 
protruding um, finished edges on these eaves over here that uh, we want to make sure we're 18 inches from this point, point to this point away from that eave. And I think that'll accomplish that. We could, like I said, we could move these heaters down a little bit further. Um, let me just go ahead and show you what that would look like. So I'm just going to move it roughly, let's go with like maybe six inches here. And you can see that, uh, you know, the further we go down, the closer the heaters are, the less overlap we get. But we'd you know miss that eave, and again the heaters would still be above this point here, which I think was eight and a half feet roughly. So, in any case, that's what I would uh, recommend here. Um, the measurements for this particular application um, aren't that significant, although if the uh, dimensions that I gave earlier were extremely off, this eight, for example, and this. 10.3 back here, or 10.5 rather, back here. If that's uh, quite a substantial amount difference, then we might want to re-look at this. But um, yeah, the seven feet apart is kind of a important aspect to get this nice um, coverage. If we went to four, it just would be way too hot. So, and then our footprint wouldn't be as wide if we used a smaller unit. So that was my recommendation anyways. Uh, thank you. And if you're looking for some assistance in your outdoor heating application, feel free to send us an email at support at patioheat.com. And also if you could give us a thumbs up, we really appreciate that. That's only if it's, this has helped you or um, assisted you in any way. Thank you and have a great day.